Everything, remember, has a dharma. Every creature, every rose, and every human being has a dharma. You're already fulfilling it physically. You're already in the bodies that you were intended to be in. Remember what I said before, it is not about where you are, it's about what direction you're headed. And as long as you know you're heading in the direction of staying here in meaning. Now, this concept of a calling, I mean, I wrote a whole book about it. It's called Inspiration, In Spirit. And the subtitle is called Your Ultimate Calling. So I'm going to introduce a word here to help you to identify your calling. And that word is passion. And it doesn't make any difference to me whether that passion has anything to do with making a living or uh, it's a part of the DOT, the Dictionary of Occupational Titles. What is it that you find passion about and the only condition I place on it is that it is in alignment with God or with your source. All right? So that your passion, if your passion is about killing other people, for example, if your passion is about stealing, if your passion is about, uh, I often said that there's two ways to have the tallest building in town. One of the ways to have the tallest building in town, always, is to go around and knock down anybody else's building when they start getting taller than yours. So as soon as they get up, if you're at the 44 floors and they get to 43, 44, you just go over and you put some explosives in there and you just blow it up. And you say, I, I have the tallest building in town. And this is, by the way, our collective ego. <laughs> this is what we do in our society and in our world, and which is about, if you really want to know my passion and my calling, it's about shifting the entire consciousness of this planet before I leave it. And that's why the film titled The Shift is so significant to me, because I know that if I can get 10 million people to watch that film, The Shift, if I can get 10 million people in America and Canada to watch that film, that we reach something called Pi, 3.1416, remember? <laughs> and if you can get 3.1416 percentage of a population to align, the rest of it's called a critical mass in physics. You reach what is called phase transition. And if you align enough people or electrons or subatomic particles up and align them in a certain way in an energy field, and you reach what they call the hundredth monkey, when you reach that point, all the rest of the electrons or the people in that energy field begin to align as well. And we have aligned ourselves collectively with a consciousness that uh, allows for people to knock down other people's buildings. The other way to have the tallest building in town is to always work on your own building and not be concerned with anybody else's building or what anyone else out there is doing or being consumed with trying to compete with or win or defend. To listen to your calling. So your calling is the thing within you that has your attention, that has your passionate attention. And it doesn't make any difference whether it makes sense to anybody else. It's the thing that you feel inside of you that you're here for. It's Mr. Holland in Mr. Holland's opus. And here's the secret, here's the thing that I learned. That it's the presence of the passion. That when you have the presence of the passion within you, for what it is that you feel is your calling. Everything else will take care of itself. That is an indication that you have God within you and guiding you. The word enthusiasm and theos, yasm, translates to the God within in Greek. The God within. When you are enthusiastic about something, anything, when you have that kind of internal knowing that this is what I'm doing. And sometimes you have to, uh, you know, that Shakespeare's 
he wasn't just a great writer, he was an incredible philosopher. Probably the most famous lines from Shakespeare are from Hamlet. To be or not to be, that is the question. And that's a very profound question. But what follows that is much more profound. He said, after to be or not to be, that is the question. Whether tis nobler in the minds of men to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune or to take arms against a sea of troubles and thus by opposing end them. You have to ask the question and that's what this program is about and that's what the movie is about and that's what the book is about and that's what all of it is about. To be or not to be? Am I going to be who I came into this world to be and there's something inside of me that has always been calling me to it? Or am I going to allow the slings and arrows of an outrageous fortune that has been imposed upon me by others to dictate my dharma? That's really the question. And it's a question that you can answer and respond to and live with 